What's going on YouTube? It's Blood, Sweat, and Gears 87. I got something that I wanted to show you guys real quick. Um, last night we were in the house and uh, there was a coyote out here in the backyard. Like it literally was right here. And uh, I started watching him and he was just walking around in the backyard, just chilling really close to the house, which I thought was crazy. And then we ended up seeing um, another coyote down here so it was two of them together and they kept looking up this way so i looked to the left there was a third coyote over here and uh that was last night so i went and got my rifle my uh hold on let me show you guys i went and got my savage 22 250 hold on let me lay it down Ugh, so you guys can see it I went and got my Savage 22-250. And I was uh, trying to see if I could get set up on one of those Yotes last night, one of those Coyotes, but it didn't happen. So today I decided I was gonna uh, just get the gun ready and have it sitting on the couch just in case one happened to show up. So I'm in the house playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and uh, <laughs> Uh, I just happened to look out the window and the coyote was standing here again. So I went, grabbed the gun, went out in the front of the house, came around the side. And you can see it's pretty dark out here, but there was just enough light for me to make a shot. And I actually was over here. I had the lights off so he couldn't see me. And I basically shot from the side of the house right here to over here. Now let me uh, walk over here. I'm going to show you guys. Tag the pretty nice one. And I, I usually don't do much coyote hunting. Because I kind of feel, uh, you know, a lot of people don't feel this way, but I feel like they have a place. I feel like what they do is uh, pretty important. So I typically don't hunt coyotes but this one was like i say right by our house and last night there was actually three out here so i just feel like three is uh a little too many you don't want that many coyotes just hanging around especially this close to the house so i decided to take one i think i'm gonna uh take them to the taxidermist just to get them. Uh, I want the pelt back from them. I want to keep the pelt. So I'll probably take them to the taxidermist to get them skinned and save that pelt. But let me move them. I'm gonna uh, bring them over here by the house where it's more light so you guys can see them a little bit better. It looks like a pretty, pretty good size one. All right, I'm gonna move him over here so we can see him a little bit better. It's just crazy. I was in the house playing Red Dead Redemption 2, looked out the window, ended up uh, tagging the coyote from the side of the house. All right, here he is in, I mean, well, here she is in a little better light. It's a female. And this right here is again a Savage 22 250. It's a perfect coyote gun. I did some research and I saw a lot of people said this was one of their favorite calipers for uh, hunting the coyotes. And I believe, yeah, this is my second coyote that I've harvested with this rifle. I've had it for a few years now. Look at those teeth right there. It's crazy. But yeah, I typically don't hunt coyotes. I feel like they serve a purpose, but I had three of them in our backyard. So 
last night. It was three of them out here last night. So I figured I'd at least take one. Because you don't need that many of them running around out here. I'm gonna go and take a couple pictures of her and throw it in the freezer until I can get her down to the taxidermist so I can get her skinned out, get that pelt back. Until next time, Splits with the Gears 87, signing out.